The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the 13th. Is this the 13th already? No, this is the 14th of December. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Ten more days, we have Christmas Eve. God, the year's gone so fast. I posted the chart for the NASD, uh, for the DAX and also the FTSE. I also want to post the one for the uh, NASDAQ here for just a second because I need to talk to you about the market. A lot of charts here. Our guest today at the half hour will be none other than Jim Bartolioni of Bart's Charts. He'll be talking to us about lithium and a couple other things here. So let's take a look at some of these things. You'll notice here in the NASDAQ, it follows through with what we're seeing in the FTSE and also in the DAX, that there was a downward movement. And I think this was really brought to my attention because of what we were looking at in the S&P as we came in. To this week, I'm going to post a chart of the cash S&P, get this up here, and then I'll do the S&P futures after that. But if you'll notice here, you'll be able to see here that we did have a head and shoulders pattern. And the, that this head and shoulders pattern, as long as it did not exceed the high of Friday, it would be a head and shoulders pattern. As you can see, it did not do that. Now, the key to this, from my perspective, is being, you know, I watch shorter term markets and I do watch the futures markets, as you all know. And so I was watching the futures markets on Sunday night. And that's what was, to me, uh, the most very, very important. Because if you'll notice here on Sunday night, I'll, I'll get this up because I did a video about this long before any of this happened. It was done uh, done Sunday. You'll be able to see here that we were right up at that 1.618 expansion at uh, 47.24. The high was 47.23.75. But look, folks, it stayed, this is an hourly chart. It stayed there for 10 hours. That is a lot of people selling up there, folks. I mean, that's, uh, it didn't have enough power to, you know, punch through. And I was saying, you know, this thing's getting ready to really break because there was just no buying up there. It was all, you know, that what buying was there was being absorbed very, very quickly. You know, so that's uh, the main thing to pay attention to that. Now, here, here's here's the whole reasoning behind uh, what I'm going to be uh, chatting about today. I just showed you, uh, you know, what we were looking at on Sunday night that did exactly what we were supposed to do. But I wanted to follow through from what happened on Sunday night, because this is the key to these really fast moving, strong trending markets. You'll notice here last night, you'll see on Monday night we came up. And we hit the uh, ABCD pattern up there at 46.80. Then it, that sets up the 3.82 at 46.80. The 3.82 came at 46.76. But look at the 3.82 this morning, folks. There it is, 46.56. And we're a whole lot lower than that now. And uh, it looks like we're going to go a whole lot lower. We're already down more than one standard deviation in the NASDAQ. And that in itself is a very, very negative thing, you know, to, uh, you know, to keep in mind. And I think, you know, some type of a, you know, some type of a high has probably been, in, you know, in here. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I know that's my favorite thing to say is I don't know. But you know what? I really don't know. <laughs> that's the real key to look at. Now, I want to show you something about the news that really is exciting for me. This is, to me, this is very um, amazing what's happened here yesterday. Now, you know, I don't look at the news at all, but, you know, some of the headlines come up. And they made this car, the Rivian, Rivian, I guess. It's the truck of the year, Motor Trend truck of the year. The high was 180. It's now uh, down a little bit today, 118 or whatever it is. But it was made Motor Trend track of, truck of the year, folks. And believe me, this they, they don't even have one of them on the road yet. And, and this is what's most amazing to me. This has got to be a political thing for the for Motor Trend to put this out there. That's a prestigious, that is a prestigious thing, folks. Uh, that's almost like Leon Musk, Leon. <laughs> 
<laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, dear. This is, uh, I'm a little tired. Anyway, um, Mr. Musk is now on uh, the uh, person of the year. That is you on Time Magazine. That that's usually the kiss of death. Let's just forget that. Anyway, that thing about uh, the tr the truck of the year. Maybe it means nothing. But when I heard that, I thought that that stock would be up at least thirty or forty percent just on that alone. And boy, it didn't. Boy, that's that's a sign of good news, bad action, in my opinion. Now, let's get over to Tesla because I wanted to talk just a little bit. But we've been following it quite a bit, and it proves. Uh, well, that no, doesn't prove, but it gives you an indication of uh, what we're looking at when we're watching some of these charts. So give me one second. I got it right up here. And I just want to go through the Tesla because we've been waiting for this for quite some time. You'll notice here that the ABCD pattern we're looking at, you'll see there it is at 937. Okay, today's load, folks, was at 930. I don't know if it's going to go below that or not. But the key to watch is that we had a three-day rally off of the low at 942, it went right up to the 382 exact, exactly at 10,778. That number was 10,000. God damn. <whistles> Shut the front door and raise the rent. Call the nursing home. Get a bed open for me. 1078 was the high. 1079 was the 382 retracement. That was last week. Now we've come down and now we've made a lower low than we did down at 1037. We've completed the big ABCD. The problem is anything below that sets up an ABCD way down there at eight and a quarter. Now I know you're saying, how did uh, Mr. Musk uh, know that this was going to uh, be a, uh, a t I don't, you know, you know, folks, all you, you listen to that stuff that's out there. It's total BS, 99 percent of it. And the other, the other uh, three quarters of a cent is definitely BS. I don't trust any of them. Never have, and I shan't start now. All right, let's give you another one they told us about, about uh, Little John and all his boys at Robin Hood. Look what they've done to this poor little stock. Giving the boys, the millennials, a little heartbreak on this one. High of 85, now trading at 19. This is going to be a great stock here, folks, when it gets down to about 8. You know, then there'll be everybody will be washed out. And I don't think Robin Hood's over. I think it's a good idea that you can get people in for, you know, a few, few shares if they want to to get involved in the market. I think that's great. But, you know, the news is always telling you that this is that and this is so and so. And I, I, I guess I'm just too old to, you know, realize some of these things that are going on here. But uh, that's that's all I can tell you is just be extremely careful with these things, folks, because it's not. Uh, it's not as easy as you might think. T today's perfect example. We have really bad uh, inflation numbers, I guess, is what they told us. And look at gold and silver. Silver's collapsing. You know, it's been weaker and weaker. It's getting weaker and weaker. You know, finally, we got a pretty good break in the short gold that we've been waiting for. I still think we're going to get down to that 1750 level in the gold. But, you know, so far it hasn't, and we'll see it. Now, there's one stock that I've been asked to bring up. This was the stock, and this wasn't from the gentleman that was in the stock. We talked about this stock, uh, ZS. I don't even remember the name of the stock, but when it was up at the ABCD pattern there at uh, 320, I think it was 327, we were looking for a top, and you can see we went way up. We'll be right back, 877. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted another chart here, something I don't trade, but I uh, do have a very good friend out back east in New Jersey that has a company that deals a lot in palladium, and it's used in electronics and catalytic converters and a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't understand. But I do understand the patterns, and you notice here on palladium that back in November, back on the 10th of November, when we were setting it a 382 ABCD pattern, uh, he gave me a call and saying, look, I got to hedge this inventory because I think we're getting ready to go lower. He doesn't know anything about ABCDs or Fibonacci or nothing. And I told him, I said, 2200 is it, pal. I said, if you get to, you know, 2300, I said, there's something wrong. I said, but I'd hedge your whole thing because it's uh, it looks like we've made a major top in here. And uh, so it turned out to be really good. And you'll notice the last little rally we had, also a daily pattern stopping where? Exactly at the 382. Now here's where the pedal meets the metal. And let's see if you can do it. As Twentyman said, defy human nature, do the work yourself. Pick up a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Take the high, take the low, and look what the high today was. Bada bing, bada boom, 0 0.382. Boys and girls, those of you that got kids ready to go to college and stuff, pretty soon you're going to have to pay their way. And believe me, they are giving you the opportunity of a lifetime here in these markets. I preach it. I talk about it. I got two or three people to listen to it. But boy, pay attention to that 382 in strong trending markets, folks, because it is a flat out winner. You can't uh, you just can't beat it. It's like a broken drum. You just can't beat it. I'll tell you, it's really uh, it's really something. And we're going to see fast trending markets more and more now because of what you just saw in that chart that I posted for Robin Hood. That's probably going to be some of the other charts that we've seen up here. We've just seen that that uh, ZS chart uh, had a high of what three? Uh, what, yeah, it went from yeah three twenty went up to three sixty or three eighty. Well, let's just do it again. Let's see what the high was. The high was three three seventy eight. We went from three seventy eight all the way down to uh, two sixty eight. Dropped one hundred and ten points. Now we've rallied back. And we just made a 135 pattern on that one, too. So um, 
there's something big is happening out there, folks. I don't know what it is. All I do know is the frustration index uh, of trying to get things done here in the United States is is really something. I had a, a problem yesterday with a neighbor. You, as, well, you don't need to hear this. Anyway, <laughs> let's forget it. That's just frustration city. I don't want to don't want to worry about that anymore. But uh, remember, uh, try to do the work. Just prove it to yourself, folks. Just take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the E-mini. Take the high that we made, the high, the high, okay, and then go down to the low and see what today's high was. It was 382, you know, spot on. But do it yourself. You know, you'll be able to understand it. It's not really too hard to do this. Now, I wanted to share a chart from uh, my good friend, Mr. Ali Zaki over in the London, happens to be one of my dear, dear friends. I met him uh, many, many years ago, uh, actually about 18 years ago at a Tom Hugard seminar. Anyway, he sent this out Sunday, and you'll notice here that pattern here. This is the SPX cash S&P. You'll notice here that that is a 382 retracement. Uh, he was looking for a high around 4727. I don't know what the high was. I didn't even bother to check it because I don't use this vehicle at all. All I'm doing is showing you these relationships that are here. Now, look at the look at the the red lines there where it says A and B and C. Look at those. Those are absolutely perfect retracements, folks. And that's what that's what he does. He he watches these things and uh, when they line up perfectly like this with these lines the way they are, it gives him a spot to say I don't have to risk very much. And if you'll see that chart from Sunday night when we were trading at uh, you know 46.23 and stay there for 10 hours? Are you kidding me? All night Sunday night they can't get a tick at 40 46.24, and now we're trading a lot lower than that. You know I said in the video if they can't get this thing any higher than this they're getting ready to really tear it apart. And Monday morning it's due to open sharply higher, and what happens? Bada bing, bada boom. Sharply higher does not uh, does not cut it. But if the market is changing character, and may it is, maybe it isn't, or maybe it's not, the fact that we're down more than one standard deviation already in the NASDAQ, we just made uh, the, 60, uh, the, the first standard deviation in the, uh, the S&P. So I would think that uh, this is going to be a spot here. We will see a day here. I'm, I'm jumping around. But we will see a day here uh, sometime before the 1st of March where you'll see a $2,000 move in the Dow Jones. It could either be up or down. But no matter what that big move is, you just multiply that times 1.618, and that'll be the next big move. That that's true of all these markets. So that you know, if you study it enough, you'll find that, you know, that's what you're looking at as you as you go through some of these things to uh, understand what you're what you're trying to look at. Uh, now I do want to uh, I'm, I'm trying to cover some of these stocks for the uh, the fangs and things like that because they've had some big patterns that we've talked about. Uh, they, I, I've already put up Tesla. The fact that if we get below that uh, nine, uh, I believe if we get below 925 in Tesla, that is really going to be negative to Tesla. That, t that means it's going to drop another hundred dollars. And folks, you can't, you cannot blame Elon Musk for any of this stuff, because he said he was getting ready to sell. When he said he was getting ready to sell, if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. He had already sold that stuff. Give me a break. Go back and look at Warren Buffett's history of how much he loved silver and then go look at how much silver he had on his account uh, after he said that. None. That's what they use these markets for. You know, it's uh, like Bernard Baruch says, boys and girls, the market exists for one reason. Inflate stocks to a very high price and you get suckers to buy it all the way down. And believe me, all the way down here is, can be epitomized by looking at that Robin Hood chart. So be really careful, in folks in these markets because this is not going to be for the faint of heart i can promise you that and i can promise you that and that's about all i can promise you so let's remind ourselves it's not a market of stocks it's a stock market and if you believe that i still have two shares of the brooklyn bridge that i want to share with you all right those are the main things that i wanted to cover i've covered the s p i've covered the nasdaq i've covered the let's see if the nasdaq i can't tell you what the price is but it's due to buy. Uh, if it gets any lower, wow! I think it's already broken. Yeah, it probably has. I don't know if we. Uh, let me ask you a question: Has that Nasdaq got below uh, fifteen thousand uh, seven hundred now? Uh, Microsoft is down thirteen dollars. 
Is it really? I don't believe that. Well, if that's the case, something big is happening here. Well, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Uh, yeah, we're already breaking down. We're 15,800. 15, yeah, we're already breaking down on that NASDAQ, too. So is that true, Bob, that the uh, that Microsoft is down $13? That can't be right, is it? Holy moly, guacamole. Are you kidding me? Shut the front door and raise the rent? And that was one of the things I wanted to show to you today, boys and girls. Here is the Microsoft chart. You'll notice that the ABCD pattern measured to 349.74, and the high was 349.73. Are you kidding me? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Billy Ray is on a streak. Billy Ray, Valentine, Capricorn. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we have on the line from Bart's Charts, Jim Bartoleone. Bart, how you doing, buddy? Another technical difficulty. God, you got to love it. Are you there, Bart? No, oh, I don't hear anything. All I hear is an echo. I hear my voice echoing. So I love technical stuff in the markets. I mean, it's really great that I, can, I can't I can even put my own passwords in. 
directly. So I don't know what to do. Uh, well, I'm going to share with you a couple of these things. Uh, uh, Bart, are you there? I'm here, Larry. Good morning. Good morning to you, Jim. Jim, as you know, uh, this is why I was never a Navy pilot, because I wouldn't even <laughs> be able to get into the cockpit, let alone fly those little puppies. But uh, unfortunately, I'm having a lot of technical difficulty, like I do Monday through Friday when I do this show. Uh, I have a hard time getting the charts put over and stuff like that. But I know you had some really neat charts for us. The problem is yeah. I can't get them from A to B. Uh, for in time for the show, so that was uh, that was my fault. So anyway, you were you had a chart about lithium, uh, the thing that's for batteries. What, is that still in a rocket ship to the upside? Yeah, Larry. So we can take a look at that real quick. It's actually correcting nicely. So thank it you. It is. Okay. Um, I, yeah. So I'm looking right now in the low 80s uh, for a potential uh, entry into that, but uh -huh. it's definitely correcting which which we needed. So, uh, but it's still a rocket ship. I think. From 2020, I think spring 2020, it, it was at 15 bucks. It's now up, up almost at 100. Is where it topped oh, out, and there's wow. still more upside to go. Yeah, it's been a heck of a run. Wow. Holy cow! What other things are you looking at, Bart? I know you were yeah, looking for. Yeah, uh, Go ahead. Yeah, Larry. So you know, the big thing I'm watching right now is we've got this really interesting, um, and, and it's like you taught me with the patterns, right? The patterns let you know where you are, right? So I've been watching, as you know, I watch a very key ratio, and it's the XLP uh, over or divided by uh, the New York Stock Exchange Index. And I do that because the Stock Exchange Index is, you know, the list of 5,000-plus stocks, and it gives you a good, you know, overall view of the market. And what's happened is, uh, and we use XLP, and we use XLP as an ETF for staples. And the, the concept is the institutions either have risk on or risk off. If they have risk on, then people don't need their toilet paper and toothpaste and staples will weaken <laughs> from a relative strength perspective, and the ratio will go down. If risk is off, then, you know, the world is falling apart, and everybody needs their toilet paper and toothpaste. Staples, from a relative strength perspective, will uh, be stronger, and the ratio will go up. And the chart I sent over to you, if you want to post it later, what's happened is all of 2021, uh, it's been hanging out in this little channel. It started in February, and most recently, you could have developed in 2021 a great strategy of, um, excuse me, buying stocks when it hits the top of the channel and selling stocks when it hits the bottom of the channel, all of 2020. And one of the, excuse me, 2021. And one of these days, it was either going to break down to the upside, stocks were going to take off to the upside, or it would break out to the upside, which means staples from a relative strength perspective are getting stronger. And that's what it did yesterday, and it broke out with a vengeance. That's very interesting because that should be, air quote, should be negative for equities. The other thing I sent over, which is c contrasting that, is I watch palladium a lot, as you know. Uh, palladium yeah. is a key metal for electronics and, and for the iPhones. For, for basically, you can think of, let's say, the NASDAQ 100. And so palladium has been on a tear. It's correcting pretty big of late over the past couple of months, but we're just sitting at a key measured move level, the largest correction that's occurred in palladium in almost 20 years today. So wow. if palladium can find support, right, then one would think or one would, you could make a surmise that the NASDAQ will find support and this sell-off will find some support and it might be a buying opportunity. So we have these two areas where one's going to fail, right? You're yeah. Uh, ratio of the staples over the New York Stock Exchange Index was a fake breakout, and it'll go back down into the channel. Stocks will rise, or palladium will blow through this level, and the sell-off can continue. So we're really at a really key, key, key point in the market right now, and I wish we could have shown them uh, because you can yeah. see it's just like, wow, the, here, here's where we are, and if you wait a day or two, I think the, uh, the trend will reveal itself. So, so, so that's what I'm looking yeah. at, Larry. Okay, I'll get these charts to us, folks. Tomorrow you will be able to bring those up, and I'll reiterate what uh, what Bart is telling us now. Now, Bart, I have a question now. Uh, someone is asking, how do they reach you yeah. at Bart's charts? Because you don't charge oh, for this. Sure. It's just uh, it, it's just free, isn't it? Or do you do you charge? Yeah, for it? yeah, no, know. no, I don't charge right now. I, you know, it's my way of of just number one, putting my thoughts down and, and coming up with a game plan. And then it, I get to share it with others, right? So um, mm -hmm. they can reach me on my website, right? 
at www.bartscharts.com and just uh, ping me there. You can contact me there. Or bart at bartscharts.com is my email address, and I try to answer. I'll get back to them sooner or later, uh, Larry. Um, <laughs> it might take a little bit of time every once in a while, but uh, I love to interact, and it's a lot of fun. So, And I love yeah. being on your show. You're hey, we're going to have we're going to have you on again right after the first of the year, and we'll get it all set up great. so that we can get your charts in, and let everybody see because you do do great chart work, and I oh, appreciate thanks, some Thank of the you. exotic stuff you do with music and stuff is really <laughs> great. So I want to oh, wish you it. and your love lovely it. bride a happy holidays. How many grandchildren do you have now, too? Larry, we have three with one in the oven, and for all oh. your listeners out there, for the longest time, my son he turned seventeen. Larry. Oh my uh, God! Are you kidding me? A couple me? days ago, oh, no. God. And Larry, for what? Larry, eight, ten years? Who knows? Was Santa Claus? Oh, I yeah. hope there's no kids. I, I, I used to play Santa Claus. Santa Claus. I sure did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's about about six five yeah. now. Yeah, playing basketball. He's doing great. Uh, and he's, yeah, I'm uh, teaching him the patterns too. He's trading. He's trading. Oh me. God, I love it. Oh good. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. Merry Merry Christmas so, to you, buddy. And we'll have you on right after the too. first of the year, and yeah. I'll cover these yeah. other things tomorrow. No, so that we'll no be worries. able to no see worries. those, okay? And best to Sarah and all your family, too, Larry. Love you, okay, brother. Okay, you bet. You bet. See you later, Bart. Cheers. Jim Bartoleone, folks, Bart's Charts. You can reach him there. He'll have the charts there for you, so if you want them, just ask him for them there. Otherwise, I'll bring them up tomorrow because they are – you know, pretty nice. I just did the one on Palladium. I didn't know that he was going to be talking about Palladium today. I was actually talking to Ernie, the fellow who does the uh, uh, has is in the Palladium business, and uh, I was chatting with him this morning, so I brought the chart up uh, about that. But I did want to bring to your attention some of these other things that are happening. I posted the chart of Microsoft up there. The fact that that stock is down thirteen dollars in one day, boy, if that doesn't scare the heck out of you, I don't think anything will. So. Let's remind ourselves that we're looking at. Here is another one. Uh, we're going to do all of them so we can see them, uh, how they're unfolding. But here is the uh, chart of uh, Google. You'll notice here that we have this three drive to a top pattern, just absolutely perfect. And what do we call that, folks? AB equals CD. And if you count the number of days in the AB, you'll see the number of days in the CD coming in right there at 3040. We're now a uh, hundred and some bucks uh, under that, uh, at least uh, 3,000. Yeah, not very much, but uh, it's got a price objective down here at 2781. Now uh, that's gonna be very important support because it's a 786 from the low in October. And it's also 786 from the low back on October 4th when we had our last major buying opportunity. We'll be right back folks, 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted that chart of the four-hour chart of the NASDAQ again because it has so much information there. If you'll notice uh, the high that was made, you know, back there uh, on the 22nd of uh, November, uh, the, the right shoulder was done on the 5th of November. The, uh, excuse me, the left shoulder, the right shoulder was done here on the, the 6th of December. Uh, that squares up the price and time. The right shoulder was equal to the left shoulder, making it absolutely perfect. But the key was that it had to get above that level of that right shoulder, and it could not do that Sunday night. Even though there was no limitations on how high this thing could have go Sunday night, and it was up, I think, 200 handles at one time, it could not break above it, just like the SPY and the cash S&P. Now, the futures did it. But the futures did it in a, in a very weak moment. It rallied up there and then stopped for 10 hours. And now we're breaking down. Now, what we've done now is we've already, I think, the 78% level on this, it comes in right about uh, 15,775. And if we start getting below that, 15,775, you know, the ABCD on this, folks, is way below uh, 15,000. So this is this is something really big that's happening, and it's happening very quickly. And the news should be, uh, you know, I would think it would be relatively good. There's nothing really big happening. I mean, the Fed's not going to raise rates right away, but boy, they are going to raise rates. Anybody that's in the bond market is getting a rude awakening of what's happening there. So we we need to pay a very very close attention to that. And you know, the the story on the inflation, folks, you cannot have inflation with money supply velocity the way it is. The velocity of money is lower than it's been in the last 30 years. So you're not going to get long-term inflation, but the Federal Reserve is not telling you about that. You got to figure that out yourself. Because uh, you don't unless the velocity of money's out there, you're not going to get inflation. You got to have more money changing more goods and that's not happening right now. So that's why maybe why gold is so weak. And silver, look how weak silver is. Silver could be breaking down below 21 cents here, uh, you know, very soon, folks. Or, you know, it's going to be a very, very $21. I mean, not 21 cents. Anyway, that's uh, that's the main thing to take a look at. Our major uh, price objective that we're looking in that gold, someone asked, was, it's around 17, around that 1750 area, folks. A uh, low today has been 1767, I think, at least the last time I checked. But those are just a couple that we're paying, uh, you know, very, very close attention to. Now, I want to get back to a few others. I posted a chart of Facebook up here, I believe. Let me do it again so we'll be able to see it, so you'll be able to see what we're watching here in some of these FANG stocks because you'll see the high that we made back in September again, uh, AB equals CD, just uh, absolute perfect number up there at 385. We're now 50 bucks below that. We've made a lower low in December, of the uh, back on December 4th. Then we had a really strong eight-day rally. You'll notice it went right to the 50% retracement, and uh, that's 50% off the high, and now we're starting to move back down again. 
And so that's a key key thing to remember also, because when markets do violate the 382, they usually stop right at the 61% retracement. Now, in strong trending fast markets like we have in the E-mini and stuff, they're not going to make the 50% retracement. You can see here by the chart that we made here on the C-mini S&P, uh, this was a little while ago, uh, right before the show, I believe. You'll, you'll notice here that we had that 382 retracement of the overnight high, which is at 4680. And uh, I, I think the ABCD on this, did we break, uh, did we hit 4605 by any chance? Could someone tell me if we've made that number in the S&P? Because that was the, uh, the 1.618 expansion number, and that should hold if it got there. But I don't know whether the, it got there. Do that. Could you tell, Maria, could you tell me if we made uh, 46? Uh, Oh, what a lucky guess. <laughs> I did that by, oh, that was a, that was a strange guess, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, and, and where is it trading now? Uh, 46.05. Well, all that was, folks, was 1.618. Just like on the high. Go, go, hey, do some of this work yourself. You know, I know, I know a lot of you people do, and I, and I appreciate that. And I know when we do these trading day things, we learn a lot. It's five hours. We've, we've done okay in these things, and, and you learn this stuff. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, watch it. But below 4605 today, uh, this thing is going to go down really big. So anything below 4605. And remember, we've still got four hours of trading left today. So we're going to see these big days. They, just remember, folks, what happened in that stock of Robin Hood is going to happen to other things. Because these people that have never been in these markets, that don't understand it, they're going to get hammered really badly. Now, that's not going to happen here at TFNN because, you know, Basil's been screaming about danger. I've been screaming about danger. Uh, Steve Rhodes has been streeting on danger, and that's it. The uh, the AI for I don't I can't post the AI for the uh, charts today, Bill, because I can't move the charts around. I have to reduce them in size. That takes a couple of uh, uh, quick, uh, you know, computer calculations that I can't do, operations, I guess. I have to go in and I change the display screen, and then I got to go back and change the start, so I can't do it. But I will tell you this, there should be a minor bottom coming in right about now. I think it's within about a half hour where we were right now. And so anything below that, that's why I'm saying if we go below that 4605 level after a predicted low around that time, would really do it. But that 4605 was just nothing more than that 1.618 expansion of that move that took us up to the high at uh, 46.23. So I hope that that's uh, what we're watching on that. So uh, thanks for your comments on it, Bill. I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, what, what, how's our time frame here? Oh, my gosh, two minutes to go. I want to make sure I cover all of these uh, these fang stocks because they should be looked at because this is why this thing is so bad on these stocks is because of the fact that we're having so many of these things that are breaking down. Just a second here. I got to get another one up. This, I think, is Netflix. Oh, here's Apple. Get it. There's the Apple chart. I want to get it up here. It didn't quite make uh, the $3 trillion. It got within uh, 60 or $0.70 cents of $3 trillion. But uh, you'll see here we've had some big moves here. And, of course, Apple's been the apple of everybody's eye for so long, and that'll probably continue for so long. Here's one that's not the apple of everybody's eyes. and had some bad press this week because of the tornadoes, and that is the Amazon. You know, this thing has made a major double top up here. We also made a, a three-drive to a top pattern up there at 37.50, and uh, this market is heading somewhere around 2,200. It was what it looks like to me uh, on a long-term basis. So let's uh, – keep our wits about us the key thing to watch today folks and mr bill has posted it in there if we get below 4605 in that s p and if we get below 4605 in the s p that is incredibly bearish there's just absolutely no if ands or buts about it you can't do anything more than that and uh i want to uh tell you that that's also let me see if that's the right uh, yep if we get below 4605, they're going to turn the lights out at the old CME folks because that's going to be a really, really negative move. The equivalent number of that in the NASDAQ would be uh, at about uh, 15,700 and 
Yeah, if we get below the NASDAQ at 15,700, I don't know what the low of that NASDAQ has been, but that's another one that if we get below that, that we, we haven't seen a real scary day in a long, long time. And boys and girls, the scary days are here, and they're here to stay. 877 927 6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I have posted the chart, updated 15 minute of the E-mini S&P, and you can see the two ABCD patterns that were there. Those are in the little uh, turquoise uh, ABCD patterns, as you can see. Uh, they're both very really spot on ABCDs. Uh, the ABCD structure from that 382 takes you down to that 1605 level that you're looking at right now. And that's why if we start going below that, that is going to be a sign if there's major trouble in River City. And we've got to be very, very careful. I had a note in there from the then that I was scaring people, folks. I'm not trying to scare you. Uh, this is going to be great opportunities on the long side. And the short side, it's just the volatility is going to increase and increase dramatically like we've never seen it before. And if you learn to lose, use these little patterns that we have, it'll give you a real edge. You know, that's really what it is. These little ABCD patterns are a great edge. We add the ratios into it with little one, three, five patterns and stuff. It'll give you an edge. Are you going to be right all the time? Of course not. But you'll be better off than you would than if you were throwing darts at the darn thing. And no, you don't want to throw darts. 
I mean, that's the main thing, you know, it's uh, the key here. We're getting a lot of information about things, you know, that, sh that are acting differently. Gold, given these statistics for inflation, gold and silver should be skyrocketing, but they're not. And look, look what's happening in the crypto markets, folks. I mean, those crypto markets are telling they want to go a lot lower. There again, that's going to be incredible buying opportunities because these things are here to stay. Big money's out there, folks. They want to buy these things really cheap. So to get these things a lot lower would be right in the game plan, like get Bitcoin maybe down to 15,000 or something like that and Ethereum down to uh, – you know, maybe a thousand or twelve hundred, something like that. That means some of these other little cryptos that are out there are going to be really, really cheap, and that's what you want to be looking for. So there's going to be great opportunities here in 2022 coming into this. But uh, right now, I don't know uh, how much we're going to bounce from this level. But if we've already made the ABCD and we made it in a matter of a very short period of time, and that means once we break six. 4605, we will go lower. See you all tomorrow, folks. May God bless.